Welcome back to the Power BI Custom Visuals course, and in this module we're going to be covering the horizontal funnel. Now the horizontal funnel is another take on the traditional funnel chart, but it allows you to have multiple measures displayed. You have, in addition to the standard measure or the single measure that you would normally have in a funnel, you have a secondary measure that allows you to display values below the colored bars that you see currently on my screen. So you don't see a secondary measure shown here, but what we would normally see is below the bars, the colored bars, is a secondary measure that allows you to visualize more information. You're also able to display a tooltip. You'll see a question mark next to the title of the chart at the very top. You see the question mark that's inside parentheses? Well, if you hover above that question mark, you can actually have a tooltip displayed that tells a story about the funnel that you've displayed here. So it's a nice capability that you have to be able to give more information about the funnel that you've designed. All right, so let's go ahead and go download the funnel, the horizontal funnel, and uh, show you how to import it into the Power BI desktop and then use it in an example. All right, so our first step here is to go to the Power BI Custom Visuals Gallery, which you're seeing on my screen now. You'll go to visuals.powerbi.com, which will redirect you to the link that I'm at right now. And you're going to scroll down towards about the middle of the pack here, and you're looking for the horizontal funnel. This is where it's at on my screen. It may be slightly displaced on yours, just depending on when you watch the video. So I'll select the horizontal funnel. I'll download the visual here. And you should note that you can also download some samples of pre-created examples of this uh, funnel as well, this horizontal funnel. So if you wanted to, you can go ahead and download the sample or you can download the visual, which is what we need to do for this example. So go ahead and download the visual, and then you're gonna work your way back over to the Power BI desktop where we can go through our example. Now, the first thing that we're gonna do, our first step in our example is we're going to import the data. Now, the data that we're gonna be using for this example is gonna be sales data that we have, but what's interesting about the sales data is it's tracking it from a salesperson perspective. And so what we're gonna be doing is tracking opportunities that people, our sales reps that have created, and we'll see the, the, the amount of revenue generated through different opportunities through the stages of an opportunity. So uh, the opening stage could be when they were prospecting that opportunity, and it could be whenever they sent a quote to the customer, and whenever they finally won that opportunity, it was marked as a closed one. And so we can create a nice horizontal funnel that displays the different stages of an opportunity inside of Power BI. All right, so what we're gonna do first is go get some data. So we're gonna start by going up to where it says get data up in the top, and we're gonna select our data to come from Excel. Now you can go download this Excel file from the link below, the video below, or you can also get it from our course files from our, our other version of this course. We're gonna be using this file here called Customer Opportunities. I'll select that and click Open. Once you select Customer Opportunities, you'll then select the spreadsheet in here called Opportunity Stage, which shows you what the data looks like inside of it. So it has the different stages of an opportunity, how much revenue we would generate at each of those stages or how much we're marking the revenue for that stage, and then what percentage of opportunities make their way through each of those stages. So every opportunity is at a prospecting stage, about 28% make them to a demo, about 10% make them to sending them a quote, 5% awaiting approval or has the PO, and then about 3%, 3.5% get to that close one opportunity. So we're gonna go ahead and take this information, hit load, bring this now into the Power BI desktop into a data model that's automatically done for us. And then we're gonna go import the custom visual that we wanna use here. Now, before I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and place this data into a table so you can see what it looks like. So I'll select the stage, the revenue, and the percentage, and I'll place this into a table, which it does by default, you can see right here. And what I probably wanna do is go ahead and change the formatting of these. So I might wanna select the revenue here, for example, in the field well, and go over to the modeling part of the ribbon up at the very top. And from here, I can tell it that I want to change the formatting from a whole number to something like, uh, let's say, a currency. And we'll make it a U.S. currency right here. And you could add a certain number of decimal places that you want to display and things like that. We can also adjust the percentage. So I see a percentage uh, field here in the field well. I can select that on the right-hand side. Then work my way back over to the formatting section of the modeling ribbon and change it from general to, in this case, a percentage. So I can select percentage right here. Okay. All right, now you can see that the addition of all these percentages don't, does not really make sense, but that's okay. That's because we're pulling this in from our data set and we're not calculating the percentage here. That's fine for the purposes of what we're doing because we're not really gonna keep this into a table anyways. Now, what I wanna show you first here before we bring in our horizontal funnel is you have a traditional funnel. The traditional funnel you have right here, like so, okay? You can see what the funnel looks like. You can have multiple measures. The, the other measure that I have here, the percentage, uh, affects the saturation of the color here. But I can uh, take that out if I wanted to, and I can make it just a traditional funnel here. You can also change the sort order by coming up to the top section here and telling it that I want to sort this by revenue. 
It looks more like a traditional looking funnel here. Now what we want to do for our example is a horizontal funnel. Just want to kind of show you the difference here between the two. So to do a horizontal funnel, we're first going to need to import the custom visual that we downloaded earlier. And you can do that by going over to the ellipses right here, selecting import a custom visual, hit import again, and then go find the custom visual that you downloaded earlier. Hopefully you downloaded it somewhere that you can easily find like I have here. All right, so I'll hit open. It's now imported that custom visual for me. Select that custom visual to add it to the design pane here. Make that, let's make that really large so we can see it, make it take up about half the screen here. And we're gonna start by adding in the stage, which again, you can see the stages right here. We have prospecting demos uh, scheduled, awaiting approval slash quote sent, has approval slash awaiting PO, and then close one being the final stage. So we're gonna go ahead and add the stages to our funnel. And then you'll notice that it tells you that you need to add some kind of a measure to this. So I'm gonna go ahead and select the revenue to be my main measure that's displayed here. And there you go, we already have a funnel that's been created here for us. Now, what's nice about how the funnel works is you can have multiple measures displayed on it. So you can have a primary measure, which we're seeing right now is revenue. You can also add in a secondary measure, which appears below in, uh, in my case is a percentage. So I can see those values displayed here on my visual. Now you have a few other things that you can do as well if you work your way over to the format paintbrush. So if I go over to the format paintbrush here, you will find some new settings that we can play around with. All right, the first one that I'd like to show you here is underneath data colors. So I'll select the data colors and you'll see here that you have the ability to change all of the data colors that you see that are displayed on the funnel. So if I don't want to see the prospecting to be showed up as this dark gray, I could change it to something like purple if I wanted to. Or if I want uh, has approval awaiting PO to be changed to something like this Power BI blue or green here, you can do that. So you have some capabilities here to change these if you wanted to. You could always hit, hit this revert to default and then I'll send it back to how it is, how it was originally, I should say. All right, so that's the data colors. That allows you to have some capabilities to customize the colors. And if you wanted them to all be down the same kind of color line, you could do that here. So maybe they all have a similar look and feel to them. That's certainly something you can do as well, okay? All right, now I'm gonna revert this back. I kind of like the multi multiple colors here. The Skittles look is very nice. So I'm gonna flip back to that, the defaults. And that's what you see underneath data colors. Now underneath the data labels, which is right below that, you have the ability to customize the labels that you see both above and below the data points that you have on the funnel. So if I go expand data labels, you'll see you have the ability to change the color of the data labels, okay, like so. You can also change the display units. So if I wanted to change what units they're shown here, right now it's showing this in auto, which means it's automatically looking at the value and it's trying to do some kind of a display unit here. Here it's showing millions, here it's showing thousands. You can adjust that here. If you don't want it to automatically do that, you can set it to something like none, and then it shows the true value here displayed. You can also change it to thousands, millions, billions, or trillions if you wanted to have uh, some kind of abbreviation for those. I kind of like the none here. That way it shows exactly how I'd like to see it. You also have the display places here where you can adjust how many units are shown here inside of the value here. Now that does uh, kind of contradict with the formatting format settings that you did on the actual measure. So be careful what you do there because there is some contradictions that you can have with the format the formatting that you've already set up on the measure itself. All right, so that's the display labels. I'm gonna revert this back to default as well. Just wanted you to see what you could do there. So next here, you'll see the funnel title and the funnel title, you can turn it on or off. You can see it dis disappears here when I turn it off or if you turn it back on, it shows back up. Uh, here you can change the title of the uh, the text title if I want to add in something like uh, maybe I call this opportunity revenue or maybe just op op revenue you can notice that it immediately changes the title here to include that text that I just modified you can also change the tooltip text this is what I mentioned in the slides a few moments ago this is where you can actually tell a little bit of a story about what you're seeing inside this funnel chart so if I wanted to I can say something about this shows the multiple stages of an opportunity. Okay, so you can add some text there. Where does that actually appear? Well, that appears on this question mark that you see right here. So if you actually hover above that question mark, you now see that little bit of a story or description of what you're seeing in this funnel chart. All right, so you can also change the color of the title if you wanted to here. You can change the background color of the overall title as well. You have some capabilities to make some changes here. All right, great. Now, the next thing that we're going to do here, I should point out here, you can also increase the text size if you'd like to do that. All right, now the last thing that's really important here, and I've, I've neglected talking about it until now, is the sort order. You'll notice that the sort order here is really sorting alphabetically by the stage name, and that's doing that by default, just based on the way the data is brought in and the sort order of the data. But really, that's not really how I would typically want to sort the data. I would want to sort probably from left to right, at least in this scenario, 
left to right the most to the least amount of revenue from each of the stages that I have. So if I expand the sort order here, you can see you have the current setting is to sort by the auto, which auto is just by an alphabetical order of the stage name that I have. But you can change that. You can change it and say, I want to sort by a series. I want to sort by the primary measure or the secondary measure. Remember, the secondary measure is my percentage. Primary revenue, primary measure is my revenue. So I want to sort by, in this case, the, my primary revenue. And you can tell it that you want to sort ascending or descending. By default, it's set to ascending. But if I wanted to, I could flip this to descending. And that way I see left to right the progression of where my revenue is going. So I start off with $3.4 million in revenue. That's all prospecting. Then whenever I actually schedule a demo, I make it, I work my way way further down to less than a million dollars. And then after my demos, I have about the $357,000 of, of quotes that I send out. And then I actually get approval and get a PO signed for about a half of that. And then here's how many I actually end up winning. So it kind of shows a nice progression here in the horizontal funnel of how my, each part of my opportunities ends up playing out and each part of the stages of my opportunity plays out. You have some nice tool tips, of course. You can hover above to be able to see both the percentage, but you can see the percentage down here as well. And that's pretty much what you can do with a horizontal funnel. It's a, it's a nice looking chart. It allows you to do quite a bit here. It's all interactive. You can, of course, there's some cross filtering here. If I select uh, things like the demo scheduled, you'll notice that it filters down demo scheduled here. I can uh, highlight just a couple stages up here if I wanted to, and you'll see that it also includes that below. So the cross filtering does apply here. You can do vice versa. I can select the demo scheduled and see it apply here as well. So there's uh, cross filtering applies throughout this visual, including if I had some other items in here, I would also be able to cross filter those. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed this custom visual, the horizontal funnel. Look forward to showing you our next custom visual in our next module.